Hey everyone, this is Max with Pure Power Solar. Welcome back for another video review. Today we have the Titan Solar Generator, which is a probably a well-known solar generator. This one's probably one of the main ones that you see. It's one of the largest ones out there, and it's relatively new. I don't remember exactly when this came out, but it's probably a couple years old, my guess. But uh, let's go over the first part of this review, which is the specifications on the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you a couple of screenshots from Point Zero Energy's manual. That's the company that makes the Titan. And we'll start with the front view. So the front view, we have the battery display, which shows several different factors. And basically what it gives you is everything you need to know in regards to your battery, how much solar input you have, um, how much battery is left, all that all that stuff you could see that they have it on that LCD screen. Next, we have the uh, AC ports. So we have six AC ports, which is awesome. You can power a ton of things with that. And that's probably one of the most significant features of this is six AC ports. But uh, above that, you could see the four circles, the 12 volt DC sockets, and uh, 20 amps max for uh, each one. Then you have the RV port, which is pretty awesome. That's relatively rare when it comes to solar generators, so that's really nice to have, especially for people who own a camper or an RV and use that plug. Um, and that's pretty much the majority of what's on this side. There's obviously more details, but uh, the other main factor that I can see from this display, uh, this diagram here, is the uh, bottom part, which is labeled J, and that is the battery. So that's a lithium battery. It's 2,000 watt hours. It has a, a lot of capabilities. I'll get into those in a second. But what's awesome about this is that you can stack these batteries above each other and basically go nuts if you want to and just have a ton of batteries underneath that. That's really impressive to see, and I see this being a trend in the future uh, for one reason. Uh, Energy, a well-respected company that made the Apex and the Kodiak, has already taken this idea and made it their own with the Energy Flex, which is currently on pre-order still. Uh, right now it's late June 2020, so that's on pre-order right now. They just came out with it, but they pretty much copied what the Titan is all about, and that's stacking batteries, having a massive power output, and uh, putting the, both of those into one. And that's really impressive to see. I definitely see this being a trend in the future for all solar generators. Next here, we'll go to the side view and we can see that there's an external battery port. This is also where the solar input goes. And also to charge your battery, you have it there from the wall. Um, there's a connector there. And one really impressive feature of this is that with two or more batteries, you can have 2,000 watts of solar input which is really good and that's the best I've ever reviewed out of all the generators that I have uh, reviewed also it's probably the best out of all solar generators current day in 2020 um, and that's just it is amazing it allows it to charge up extremely fast so it really makes it a usable solution for people in their RVs and homes and off-grid cabins, but it really allows people to use more power off-grid, especially if needed. So if the power goes out, then you have this, and it can power a lot of things, not just your fridge, but several other things, depending on how many batteries you have as well, and if there's a lot of sunlight to recharge it. So all those factors aside, it's still a great system, and so let's go ahead and get into the internal features a little more. I already talked about the solar input, but the battery is a 2000 watt hour battery and that's per battery pack. You can get it in different kits where it comes with two or three or you can just keep, you can buy as many as you really want. I don't know if there's a limit on how many batteries you can attach to this thing. So, I mean, you could really, just like I said earlier, you'd go crazy with it. But uh, some other features, I forgot to mention earlier, but there's a lot of USB ports. There's six smart USB ports and then two USB-C ports um, with that. And it says that the two USB-C ports are removable sockets. So there you have it. You could charge your smartphones, tablets, anything like that with the USB. Now, one of the more impressive features here, 
within the battery is that it has a continuous power output of 3,000 watts. So they recommend 1,500 watts continuous with one battery pack. But if you have two or more battery packs, you can go up to 3,000 watts of continuous power and up to 6,000 watts of peak power output. That's the best I've seen once again, and that means you could power so many things with this. Even the most power intensive items, you can power with it. Now, for how long? I'm not exactly sure. You have to do the math on that, but this is very impressive, and uh, you could use this generator with a lot of things, a lot of appliances, things like that. So the battery type is lithium ion, and the, um, the life of this battery is up to 10 years or up to 2,000 cycles. So that's awesome. The Energy Apex and I believe the Kodiak had a 2,000 battery life cycle um, battery, and that was the best. And it still outdoes Goal Zero. Goal Zero, most of their generators are 5, 000, or 500 life cycles. And, I mean, you get four times that with not only the Titan, but also the energy uh, generators that I was mentioning earlier. So that's really impressive. And there's also a warranty, one-year limited warranty on the battery pack, and then a two-year limited warranty on the power module, which is on top of the battery. All right, so that does it for internals. I'm not going to go into depth. You can check out my article in the link below in the description and in the comments, and you'll see more details. I compare it to the Yeti 3000, and I also compare it to the Energy Apex. So those are some really good models to compare it with since they're uh, around the same area of power as the Titan. And so pretty much that's all I have for you guys. If you have any other questions or comments to share, let me know. Do any of you have a Titan? I'd love to hear your input. I love hearing people's input who actually have these. And that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.